Okay, guys. Good morning. Good morning. So today, the topic is probability. We have a sample question here. You see, probability. When we talk of the term probability, these are just possibility, the chances, the chances of uh, uh, something to occur. The probability is always less than one, should not be more than one. Like you can say, a probability of giving birth to a boy child, say, serve. Now a quarter depends with the uh, genes. That is a bit of biology. So this one here, let's see how we can handle it. The probability that our school will host the probability that our school will host the soccer and rugby tournament this year is 0 0.8. If we host, the probability of the winning soccer is 0 0.7. If we don't host, the probability of winning soccer is 0 0.4. If we win soccer, the probability of winning rugby is 0 0.8. Otherwise, if we lose, the probability of winning rugby is 0 0.7. It's full of so many statements. Confusing and can make you even sleep. So you need to digest one by one. The probability that our school will host soccer and rugby tournament this year is 0 0.8. So that is where we start. So we draw three diagram, that one there, yeah, so it is either we host or we don't host. So if we don't host, we put H prime here. So if we host, the probability is 0 0.8. So if we host, the probability is 0 0.8. So if we don't host, because I said probability must be equivalent to 1. So it means the remaining for this form 1 is 1 minus 0 0.8. We'll get the answer there as 0 0.2. So if we don't host, the probability of not hosting is 0 0.2. It's 0 0.2. If we host, the probability of winning soccer is 0 0.7. So we go back. If we host, suppose we host, the probability of winning soccer. Yeah. If we host, the probability of winning soccer. So soccer win. Soccer win. And we can also have soccer lose because probability are just chances. We are not sure that we will be winning this thing. So this we are we say 0 0.7. Chances here yeah, means 0 0.7. And if chances are, uh, if you don't win, the probability there for losing is 0 0.3. Yeah. If we don't host, the probability of winning soccer is 0 0.4. If we don't host, the probability of winning soccer is 0 0.4. So, meaning what? Meaning that if we don't host, uh, that is, we have we've gone for away game. So, meaning that this here will be soccer win, soccer lose. That is 0 0.4. Uh, winning soccer there becomes 0 0.4. Meaning that the probability of losing is to bit i 0 0.6. You just less one, one minus 0 0.4, you get 0 0.6. If we win the soccer, the probability of winning rugby is 0 0.8. Yeah. If we win the soccer, the probability of winning rugby is 0 0.8. Otherwise, if we lose the probability of winning rugby, 0 0.3. So if we win the soccer, it's a bit, a bit of interesting. Eh? Probability is so nice because these are things that we've been interacting with life. We must always have our chances in life. So if we win the soccer here, it means that winning rugby will be under, under some, uh, prob some, some chances like rugby win, rugby lose. 
So if we win rugby, yeah, if we win soccer at the same time we win the rugby, the probability here will be 0 0.8. If meaning that if it is 0 0.8, then the, the probability of if we win soccer, we to lose rugby is also very minimal here. That is one minus 0 0.8. You always make sure that where these things meet is one. 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 is one. 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3 is one. 0 0.2 there plus that is supposed to give us one. If we win the soccer, the probability of winning rugby is 0 0.8. Otherwise, if we lose, the probability of winning the rugby is 0 0.3, regardless of hosting or not hosting. So we come here and put that that this is the tree diagram. So we are saying here that we rugby win, rugby lose. So we can, if we lose soccer, they are saying if we lose soccer, the probability of winning rugby is 0 0.3. So this is 0 0.3. This is 0 0.7. 0 0.7. The same thing applies whether we host or we don't host. Host means it is occurring within our place, our not, not our place, that's not but, uh, our venue. So this is rugby win, rugby loss. We are losing rugby. So these things, because regardless of hosting or hosting, we will still the probability remains the same. Zero point eight. 0.2 then uh -huh. then probability of losing here still the same this is rugby win rugby loss so Otherwise, if we lose the probability of winning rugby 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.7 to make it equivalent to 1. To make it equivalent to 1. So this is what we know called tree diagrams. So in this case, we host, we win soccer, we win rugby. That is there. Yeah. That is host, we win soccer, winning soccer. Same time we're winning rugby. That is how we get that probability. Then in this case we host, we do soccer. We host, sorry, we host. We host, we win soccer, win. But we lose rugby, rugby loss. In this case we don't host. But no, we all still we host, we host, but we lose soccer. But rugby we still win. In this case we host, we lose soccer. Rugby also we lose. In this case again we have. We don't host, we are going away game, but we win soccer and rugby still. We are giants, we are Barcelona. In this case, we host, we don't host, but we still win soccer. Though at the end we lose rugby, rugby loss. In this case, we don't host, we lose soccer, we lose soccer, but we win rugby. This can be as an on women, not women, uh, men. In this case, we, can, we don't host, we lose soccer, we lose rugby, we lose rugby. Yes, so that is the tree diagram that they were looking for. So that is how you analyze question three, tree diagram.
to this audio. Make sure you analyze it one by one, one by one, until you get eh, whatever, whatever you need there. So after that, you can get some question. You can try to analyze um, can get some question. You can be asked uh, like, uh, be you are told now to find the probability of something else. Let me share with you. This one here, you can put it down so that when you be answering those questions, you have the diagram at hand. You have the diagram at hand there. Don't post the probability 0 0.4, 0 0.6. Very easy. Okay, let us see some of the questions that can be. I will try to move this one up so that uh, we can have time to use the tree diagram to find use the tree diagram to find that we lose Use the tree and find that it will lose that we lose both games. Mm -hmm. For us to lose these both games, it means that you know, we can lose both games either when we host or we don't host. So meaning that that case we will have this. So the solution for this our category is this. It means different time solution is standard to most. So for us to lose both games. Either we host or we don't host. So we'll say if I host, we have 0 0.8. This one here. If we host, both games means if we host, we lose soccer here, 0 0.3. 0 0.3 times. We lose soccer, at the same time we lose what? We lose rugby. We just uh, look at the initial diagram, there is supposed to be 0 0.7. 0 0.7. That is the case where when we, when we host, or we can also lose all the games, or we put plus. We can also lose all the games if we don't host, yeah? We don't host, so meaning that meaning we we'll have if we don't host losing, we we'll talk of 0 0.2. That is the first one there 0 0.2 here times 0 0.6. Losing that is losing soccer, and then we also lose rugby. If we lose rugby, it is it will be 0 0.7. times 0 0.7. And I said, anytime you're doing calculation in the probability space, make sure that your answer should be less than one. Anytime you're getting answer more than one, you're not doing probability. Chances, it, it can, you can never have one chance. You can, chances are always limited to one. You can, have, you can either pass or fail. You can fail and pass at the same time. No, 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 that one cannot happen. So multiply, we'll have 0 0.8 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.7. That is, becomes 0 0.1686868 plus 0 0.2 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.7 we get the answer for 0 point 0 0.084 
four. Point zero eight four. So this one here, this one here will give us zero point one six eight plus zero point we had zero point uh, one six eight plus zero point zero eight four. Yes, you're supposed to get zero point two. You are also free to give your answer in fraction two five zero point two five two. So that is how we answer that question. So the probability that we lose both games, we consider both when we host or we don't host. That's why you are seeing, I am picking when we host, we pick 0 0.8. We lose, we are losing soccer. We are losing the same time we are losing rugby. If we don't host, we are losing soccer, we are losing rugby still. You get your marks there for free. Have that okay so that uh, we go amen. The probability that we will win only one game, only one game. Either we win soccer, we lose rugby. We win rugby. We lose soccer, regardless of hosting or not hosting. That is very, very simple. So, meaning what? Meaning that the probability that we host, uh, the probability that we will win only one game, either we host, and if we host, you can see the diagram there 0 0.8. The probability of hosting is 0 0.8. If we host, it becomes 0 0.8 times. Yeah, if we host, it becomes 0 0.8. And then we just want one that will only win one game. So we host, we win soccer, 0 0.7. That is the probability of winning soccer. We lose rugby. And if we lose rugby, it becomes 0 0.2. And if that's not the case, then we host 0 0.8. We host, but we host, but we lose soccer. We, the probability of losing soccer is 0 0.3. 0 0.3, but we win rugby. Winning rugby is 0 0.8. This a case where only when we host. But the other part, because they have not specified whether we should get the one all, winning only one game when we host or so we have to go to and when you don't host. So when you don't host the probability is 0 0.2 times we are not hosting 0 0.2, but we are winning soccer. Times 0 0.4, we lose rugby times 0 0.2. Plus, you're not posting still. Get that one in your head. We are not posting 0 0.2 there, but because we won soccer in the first instance, now this instance here, we're supposed to lose it. We do 0 0.2. Six which of losing soccer when we go for a way match times uh, hmm. sorry, there is something that I need to make here. So we said that when we don't host, is that when, when we we host the first case 0 0.2 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.2. We are winning soccer, but we are losing rugby. We can also win. Uh, we can also host. We don't host. 
we lose sulfur, but we win dark B. It is 0 0.6 times 0 0.2 watt. When we lose sulfur, we make sure we win dark B, 0 0.3. Point G that will give us it's a matter of multiplying, multiplying 0 0.8 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.2 that becomes for the first case there becomes 0 0.11 112 plus 0 0.8 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.8 0 0.3 super loose super loose 0 0.8 0 0.3 0.8 and 0 0.7 then 0 0.2 0 0.8 and 0 0.3 this one they they subtract the place where we mess is supposed to be 0 0.3 just notice it yeah if you look at the, we host here 0 0.8 0 0.8 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 that's the probability of winning rugby suppose we host but we don't win soccer 0 0.8 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 that becomes 0 0.072 plus 0 0.2 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.2 that becomes 0 0.016 plus 0 0.2 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.3 that's supposed to become 0 0.036 now, if you work out that, you see my calculator, and you're supposed to get the right thing there. 0 0.16 plus 0 0.072 plus 0 0.112. That is 0 0.236. That is 0 0.236. That is how we work out. The first case here, this case is we are hosting, we are winning soccer but losing rugby. The second case, we are hosting, once we host, we lose soccer but we win rugby. Just follow the lines. Then the third case is where we don't host but we win soccer and then we lose rugby. The third case, is, the final case is we don't host, we, we lose soccer but we win Rugby. Win rugby. Simple as that. Look at the marks. Three marks for free. <clears throat> what can you get? The marks. Just follow the diagram. The, 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 the best part of this thing is you must know how to draw the diagram. Once you've known how to draw the diagram, it becomes very, very easy for you to move around. Let's go to the next question. The probability, the probability that we will host and lose both games. And then it's very simple. It's supposed to be the one mark. No, I don't know. Don't, don't. The probability that we will host, we are hosting 0.8. But we look, if we lose both games, that one we just use this one here, where we have 0 0.8 times 
zero point three times zero point seven because the probability of hosting is zero point eight. Yeah, winning soccer is zero point seven. So it means if we lose soccer, we must lose soccer whilst we lose all the other games. Zero point three times zero point seven losing in rugby. Was that, so that one, if you do your calculation, you will get 0 0.8 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.7. You get the answer 0 0.168. And I said earlier on that any time you are doing calculation here, make sure that your answer is not more than one. If you get answer more than one, my friend, wrong. Final question so that we can summarize 10 marks. And this one cannot miss in exam. Whether it is challenging or easy, not miss because in life we must always have chances. We must always know how chances have to be taken. Yes. Let's see how I think it is in the The final question. Let me erase that. The final question, the probability that we win at least one game. The probability that we win at least one game. The probability that we win at least one game. So that one is very simple. We can just, for us to get the probability that we win at least one game, it is maybe we can just get the difference one minus none. Yeah. If we don't, like we said, the probability of losing all the all the games there. Yeah. Yeah. That is we can talk of zero point eight times zero point three times zero point. Uh, 0.2. So that means that here we mean that we can just talk of 1 minus 9. 1 minus 9. You get the point? 1 minus 9. So 1 there minus 9. The probability that we win at least one game if we Probably that we win at least one game if we host. Yeah, we have two ways here. You can do this. We can we host, we win soccer, but we lose rugby. Or we host, we win rugby, but we lose what? Soccer. That should also be giving us. Or we can. So let's start with that. The first one. That, that seems to be much easier. My student. So we say zero point eight times um we are hosting because the question is if we host 0 0.8 let's win soccer times 0 0.7 0 0.7 plus 0 0.2 0 0.2 we, we are winning soccer that case but losing rugby win at least one game so we win that is or we can win all of them so we can also go in that direction because i don't want to take a lot of time doing that yeah it will take it will take a lot of time for me doing all that you do 0 0.7 you go because at least means you can win all of them we also win win either all of them yeah like 0. Point, uh, we talk of 0. 0.8 times 0. 0.3 times 0. 0.7. So, which is so at least one means that we must win all of the games there. So that thing to be. So 
meaning that that's why I was saying one minus well, we just none. None. We don't put this thing again. That is equals to one minus none. None means that we owe 0 0.8, we lose soccer 0 0.3 times. We said earlier on that the probability of the uh, madam, let me look at the madam, the Jew, our child, the probability of losing rugby, you know, the probability of losing rugby was. Yes, we, once we lose soccer, but we are hosting, yeah? See, rather, we are, lo we are hosting, so that becomes 0 0.2, 0 0.2 there. So that is supposed to give us one minus 0 0.8 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.2. That is 0 0.048. Equals to one minus answer becomes zero point nine five two. Now zero point nine five two is good that we have this one again is zero point nine five two. So that is how the probability normally goes. Just what you need here, you just need to uh, know how to analyze the probability diagram and help you once you analyze it well. I don't think if there's any really the problem, the free information must be there in the exam because in life you need people who know how to take to consider chances. So thank you.